accident on the ship Mall Comfort in the Indian Ocean was one of the worst shipping disasters in history. This incident happened when the boat, sailing about 200 miles off the coast of Yemen, was attacked by six meter high waves caused by bad weather. Mole Comfort is a container ship built at the Mitsubishi Heavy Industries Nagasaki Shipyard, Japan, commencing in 2007 and began sailing the seas in March 2008 under the name APL Russia. On June 11, 2013, she changed her name to Mole Comfort. When this ship was ready to leave Singapore, it was given command by a very experienced and professional crew. The captain is a 58-year-old Russian with 19 years of experience in the industry and previously operated Mole Comfort's sister ship, the French APL. Before departure, the vessel underwent the necessary stability calculations at the port of Singapore, the results of which met the requirements. The Mole Comfort could carry more cargo than its capacity at the time and was relatively young and well-maintained. The ship departed Singapore at 7 p.m. on June 11, heading west to Saudi Arabia. The vessel carries 7,041 shipping containers and a competent crew of 26. They sailed at an average speed of 18 knots with an estimated arrival at Jeddah, a port city in Saudi Arabia, at midnight on June 19. However, they encountered bad weather and on June 17, rough sea conditions attacked them. Although they had followed the weather's route advice and adjusted their course, waves as high as 6 meters and strong winds of up to 38 knots caused the ship to rock and roll in a storm at 7 a.m. The wave reached 7 meters, sprayed the deck and hit the ship's side hard. The crew heard an explosion and felt strong shaking inside the ship. The ship's speed was immediately reduced and its stability was threatened. The captain inspected the damage and found significant damage. They face an increasingly deteriorating situation as weather conditions continue to worsen. At 7.45 a.m., the ship rocked violently as winds reached 38 knots and waves as high as 6 meters. The boat rolled over in the storm and 7-meter waves sprayed the deck. The crew struggled to stay aboard the ship. Two large waves eventually hit the ship's port side, causing major damage and threatening the ship's stability. The situation worsened as the ship tilted further and the hull buckled due to the pressure of the water monopolizing inside. The captain rushed to find out what damage had occurred and immediately contacted the chief engineer in the engine room. The chief engineer felt a violent shock when the waves hit the ship. Things got worse quickly and the ship triggered a flood alarm as water poured into the storage space. The captain immediately reduced the ship's speed and changed course to face the coming waves. They took all necessary precautions to deal with the adverse conditions, but the fierce weather continued to batter them. Conditions became even more dangerous when several shipping containers fell into the sea. The captain finally decided to send out a Mayday distress call at 9 in the morning. The Yantian Express, 24 nautical miles away, immediately responded to the emergency call and headed to the scene. The captain called all the crew to the muster point to prepare to abandon the ship. Although the situation was frightening, the crew had practiced emergency scenarios like this before and knew their roles well. They boarded a lifeboat, although their journey became uncomfortable, and some crew felt seasick within half an hour. Yantian Express arrived at the scene and ordered them to climb over the cargo net to escape. The climb was dangerous and hampered by the threat of partially submerged shipping containers. The crew from Comfort struggled as they climbed onto the net, also covered in oil. Some slipped and fell into the sea, struggling to stay above the surface. High waves hit them and shipping containers kept appearing around them, endangering their lives. However, they managed to restrain themselves and several boys miraculously appeared to help them. After a difficult struggle, all 26 crew members were finally rescued at 11.36. They gathered aboard the Yantian Express, still shocked by what they had just experienced. The two sailed for Colombo, Sri Lanka, and arrived on June 20th. The Mole Comfort's owners then employed four salvage ships and their crews to bring back the remaining four and a half parts of the vessels that were still afloat, mostly in their shipping containers. 
However, this effort was hampered by bad weather, with winds reaching 40 knots and waves as high as 8 meters. 